Hello YouTube, I'm back with another tutorial. This one is my Friday casual look that I'm going to wear. Um, this is the look right here. So let's get started. For this look, you will need the Wet n Wild palette. And this one is Pride 247. And we're going to use the shimmery side. The first color I'm going to take, and I'm using my MAC 239 brush. I am using that shimmery, the shimmery white right here. And I'm going to apply that in the inner corner. And you take it as high as you feel comfortable. The next color I'm going to apply is that green, that shimmery green. And that's going to go in the middle and blend it with the white. I'm going back to the white because I took my green in a little too much and it's going to also help blend that green color. Next color I'm going to take is a shimmering blue. This color reminds me a lot of Prussian by MAC. The most color in the outer corner and then when you feel that there's not too much color left you want to bring it into the yellow tapping on that line to blend it out. And ensure that you blend out that line top. I don't want a harsh line. So we want to blend that out. Like so. Then I'm going to turn my brush over and go to that green color. Just to make sure that the green didn't get lost with the blue and ensuring that you're blending out that line. We don't want a harsh line at the top where our colors end. And I'm going back to the blue. Now I'm taking ABC Bubblegum by Urban Decay and I'm applying this with the Smashbox number no. 3 brush and I'm just applying that over that when the colors end and I am blending down. Just so you know, um, these colors you could use a lighter tone, green and blue. And yes, I am going to wear this to work. Because it matches my blue shirt that I have on. Again, this look, you, it could be a nighttime look. I'm wearing it for work. It's up. Um, my... The colors that I wear are optional for you guys. You can always take it lighter. Because what I could wear at work probably won't go for your line of work. I am taking ELF's Mineral Eyeliner in black or any black eyeliner and applying it to my waterline. If you're looking for eyeliner that's not really dark, just something subtle black, this is a great eyeliner for that. It is not as dark as the 24-7 pencil by Urban Decay or Max um, Cole pencils. And I'm using a, any matte black to set that. And I'm going to take back to that shimmery blue. And I just want to intensify just a smidget. Now I'm going to take Maybelline's Eye Studio in, I don't know which one this is, but oh, this one is 20 Sapphire Siren. And I am taking that darker blue in my MAC 266 and I'm applying it on my lash line. So, then I'm taking my e.l.f. Lengthening Mascara, and this is in black brown. And I am applying mascara. This mascara, it's alright. I've had better. But for a dollar, you can beat that. And the only problem I see with this one is that you gotta apply a couple of coats to get a full coverage. And applying in the bottom lash line. Got 
gonna dot my nose and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my angle liner that I used to put on eyeliner and I am going to take any matte black or you could use liquid liner and I'm making a nice thin line eyes are hooded and they crease a lot like when I use the pencil to put eyeliner so I find the quickest the quickest way if you're in a hurry and you want to apply eyeliner use powder it's flexible it's easy to apply and you can manage it better Then I'm going to take my Andrea's Lashes number 33. I'm blowing it to speed up the process. If you're doing a client's eye eyelashes, please don't blow on it. Just, you know, flag, wave it or just wait the 30 seconds for the glue to get tacky. And that's it. This complete, completes my Friday casual look. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, this could be a nighttime look. Whatever you choose. You don't have to wear it daytime. This may be too much. And have a good day. Comment, rate, subscribe.